Come on, Gordon. You can do it. You got to lose a thousand pounds. You can do anything you set your mind to. Whoa! Oh, oh, no. Wow, way to go, Gordon. You fell on your face yet again. I'm sorry. I'm trying. It's really hard. You don't have what it takes to do this, dude. No, I do. I want to lose a thousand pounds. You don't know what it's like being like this. I'm unhappy. Yeah, I definitely don't know what it's like. I'm pretty happy, but I'm not happy with your performance. Well, I I'm sorry. I'll get better. You can't expect me to be like an Olympian right away. Listen, man, I really don't have time to waste on you. I'm a very busy personal trainer. I have to let you go. You're just going to walk out on me? Yeah, dude. Good luck with your goals or whatever. Fine. I don't need anyone to believe in me. I'm going to believe in myself. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I've lost so much weight. Whoa, I can't believe you did this. It's crazy. I can do anything that I put my mind to. Well, dude, you're still kind of tubby. You need to keep going. Whatever, I don't have to listen to you. I did this on my own and I'm excited to keep going. Oh my gosh, did I get robbed? Where's all my stuff? Hey, you, where's the big fat guy that lived here? I think you're talking about me and that's very rude. Gordon, is that you? You've lost a little weight, huh? Yeah, I've been working really hard. Uh, what is going on here, man? Well, if you can't tell, you've been evicted. But why? I've been paying my bills, haven't I? Yeah, but you're a fat liability. My insurance went up because of you. Well, I'm sorry, but you rented me the apartment, and you can't just kick me out. Listen, if you want to stay, the rent's going to be 4,000 Robux a month. 4,000 Robux a month? Dude, I don't even make that in a month. Wow, you're really poor, huh? Well, even if I did, this place isn't worth it. This place is kind of terrible. This is a prime location. Real estate prices are going up here. If you can't pay it, get out. Yeah, thanks for nothing, dude. Oh, man, I don't know what to do. I don't know where else I can go. I really hate to do this, but I think I'm going to have to go maybe stay with my dad. Oh, look at this. My fat loser son crawling back to me for help. Insulting me is not going to do anything, dad. So what do you want? Money? No, I just need a place to stay. I know you don't have any money. What, you're going to insult me now? Come in and say that I'm poor? Well, dad, you don't really work all that often. Shut up. You're a worthless loser. You know that? Dad, I'm just asking you for help. You don't have to be so mean. Yeah, whatever. Please, I just need to stay here until I can get a new apartment. Fine, but you're paying me rent. All right, well, how much? Mm, 2,500 Robux. Dad, you don't even make that in a month. Yeah, I know. This is a good opportunity for me. But how am I supposed to save to get an apartment? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's my problem. All I know is if I catch you eating my food, I'm going to slap you. Dad, I'll get my own food. Yeah, well, I know you. You're over there eating all the time, laying around like a lazy loser. I'm not a lazy loser, Dad. I've already lost 500 pounds. And stop judging me and my decisions, okay? Well, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm your dad. That's not what dads are supposed to do. You're supposed to be supportive. Well, I am supporting you, ain't I? I'm supporting a roof over your head. 2,500 Robux, you can go sleep on the streets. Fine, I, I guess I can get a second job or something. Good, nice to not see you be so lazy. Huh. Coming from the guy that barely works. You know, whatever, all right? Why don't you clean my house as a thank you for me letting you stay here? Uh, no, I have to go try to find a second job now. Yeah, Bryce, this is absolutely going to be incredible. The Iron Blocks competition. Probably going to win. Yeah, I heard of that competition. It's insane. You got to run a marathon and then swim like 50 miles to an island, dude. Whoa, this competition sounds really cool. What are you guys talking about? This competition's not for fatties, Gordon. This is the Iron Blocks competition. Chai, you got to be in some serious shape for it, dude. Well, I bet I could do it. If, if I put my mind to it, I definitely could. Yeah, right, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, Tubbo thinks he can actually run a marathon instead of just walking to the fridge this is hilarious hey why don't you shut your mouth okay you can't talk to people like that i'm a person yeah whatever dude you're not one person you're more like three i'm gonna win that big prize at the end yeah 500 000 robux oh my gosh i could do so much with that money yeah anybody could dude well i'm gonna win this thing you'll see i'm gonna show you all <laughs> i doubt it 
<sighs> Man, I don't know. I'm kind of worried. I'm not the best swimmer. Never have been. But I gotta try anyway. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Oh, gosh, gosh. Oh, man. I'm really slow at this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this on my own. But I got an idea. Hey, Ian, are you busy? Hey, Gordon. How's it going, man? Ian, thanks for showing up. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Need some help training for the Iron Box competition? Yeah, well, I know that you used to be a professional swimmer, so I figured you could help me out. Absolutely. Man, it's time to get to work. Feeling a little self-conscious. I mean, I know I'm not in the best shape. What are you talking about? You've already lost 500 pounds, man. Yeah, I know, but the guys at the office were so mean to me. I don't know why people treat me like I'm not a human being. Because some people don't respect others, that's all. But you're already making so much progress. You should be proud of the body that you have and who you are as a person. Yeah, you're right, man. Plus, I want to prove these guys wrong. Let's get after it. Oh, gosh. After two jobs, I got to come home and deal with this guy. You late. Late for what? You just home late. Yeah, that's because I had to work two jobs, dad, so I could pay you the rent. Yeah, well, who was supposed to make me dinner? Who was supposed to buy it? Uh, I don't know, you? Mm, wrong! You were! No, Dad, I'm not gonna come in here and take care of you, too. I'm already paying you money. It's one or the other. You're telling me you can't get dinner for your own father? A couple of pizzas would have been nice. Yeah, it would have, but you could have picked up the phone and ordered it. And paid for it with what money? Can't believe you. You're such a disgrace, you know that? I'm out here busting my butt trying to do the best that I can, and you're sitting inside all day watching TV? You've always been useless. I don't need this. Fine, I'm leaving. Whatever. Where you going now? You don't have any friends. Yeah, I have lots of friends, Dad, and I'm going to the pool to train. What a waste of time. We know you ain't gonna lose any more weight. Yes, I am, Dad. I'm doing this for me. I don't care what anyone else has to say about it. Just like everything else you've ever done, you're gonna give up halfway through, and you're gonna fail. I don't need to be around this attitude. You wanna talk about failure? Why don't you look in the mirror? Come on, Gordon, you've got this. Faster, faster, come on. Well, you're doing a whole lot better. You cut your time down by a couple seconds. Oh man, I need to get better, dude. I need to lose a little bit more weight too. I think that's what's holding me back. Dude, you just need to pump the brakes. You're doing a great job. Uh, I don't know. I know I can do better. <laughs> I thought whales move fast in the water. That was pathetic. Wow, Thad. Oh, a fat joke. That's really original, man. Dude, stop acting like a loser. Just leave him alone. Well, I came by to initially scout out the competition. Clearly, there isn't any. Why are you wasting your time coming down here? Shouldn't you be training? I wake up at 4 a.m. to train, you pathetic loser. That's funny, dude, because I wake up around the same time and I jog by your house every morning and your car's still in the driveway. I didn't know I had a fat stalker. Listen, man. Just get out of my way. Sometimes these guys just get into my head, you know? That's because you let them. Don't listen to these losers. I know, but what if he's right, man? What if I can't do it? I don't even want to hear you talking like this, dude. I want those thoughts out of your head. Yeah, you're right. Now, come on, get back in the pool. Let's go another lap. I can't believe you're late again, Gordon. Uh, I'm sorry. I, it, I was just running late for my other job. Yeah, you're putting a lot of things before this job. Uh, I'm sorry. I have to work both jobs to be able to afford what I'm doing. And I still have to train. Well, I'm obviously not your priority, so you're not mine anymore. Get out of here. Please, just give me another chance. No, you're fired. You're lazy and incompetent. Now get out of here. Oh, Gordon, you're home early or late. I can't remember because you have such a stupid schedule. Yeah, I'm home early, Dad. I lost my second job. I knew it. I knew you weren't going to be able to do it. Well, I was late because of my other job that I had to work. Don't you backtalk me. I know you better than anyone. And I know that you're never going to amount to anything. And as soon as you just give in to that, the happier your life is going to be. How could you say that to me? I'm your son. Yeah, well, I'm realistic. I mean, look at me. You think I'm out there winning the Olympic medals and becoming a millionaire? No, because I know who I am. But Dad, I want more than that for my life. Why don't you start? Stop living in a fairy tale land and go out there and work your job and come home and buy me pizza. But dad, I got dreams. Shut up and go and pick up the pizzas that I ordered. That's all I want to hear from you. I don't want to hear no more about these stupid dreams that you have. Oh, Ian. Sorry, man. I wasn't expecting you. Yeah, well, I was expecting you. Why didn't you show up? 
I'm not doing the competition anymore. I'm done. Dude, what? You're just gonna give up that easily? Yeah, because Gordon's useless and he's wasting your time and mine. Gordon is absolutely not useless. I don't know, Ian. I'm just in a bad place. I mean, I just lost my second job and now I gotta find another one and I don't know if I'm gonna have time. All I'm hearing is excuses from you, man. An obstacle comes in your way and you just give up. Just like he always does, crybaby Gordon. Shut up, Dad. You don't know what hard work is like. You've never done it a day in your life. But you do know what it's like, Gordon. You put in hard work every time you're training. Stop putting stupid ideas into my son's head. He needs to stay here and pay me the 2,500 Robux a month. That's how much you're paying? That's more than my whole place, dude. Well, I'm stuck. I got nowhere else to go, man. Yeah, because he can't stand on his own two feet. I have an extra bedroom in my place. Gordon, you're absolutely welcome to it if you want to stay with me. You really want this guy living with you? Come on. Absolutely, I do. If it's going to take him out of this awful environment. And you don't have to pay me any rent money, Gordon. Oh my gosh, yeah, dude. I'll pack my bags right now. What? No, no, no. You need to stay here and you need to pay me the rent money. No, I'm going with Ian, Dad. You're on your own. You're just going to abandon your family, huh? You know what, Dad? I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you always putting me down. You've never done anything with your life, and I'm not going to sit here and be miserable with you because you decided to be miserable. I'm doing something positive for myself. Now, either support me or get out of my way. Gordon, you have a strict schedule for your training now, but I think you can do it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm the one that came up with it. Are you sure you're going to commit to this? Because I'm going to push you. That's why I have you as my trainer, man. When I start thinking bad thoughts, I want you to yell at me until they come out of my head. Absolutely. Nothing but a positive mindset going forward. You got it? Yeah, I'm excited. All right, well, then let's get to work. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I officially lost a thousand pounds! Ha! <laughs> and you thought you couldn't do it. I just feel so happy. The thing I'm most grateful for is the change in my mindset. All of your hard work clearly paid off, dude. Look at this. I don't know how to thank you, man. You can thank me by winning that competition. Okay, ready, Gordon? This is just for qualifications now. Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one. All right. Oh, wow, I'm really doing this. This feels so great. All right, Gordon. How did I do? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. It wasn't great. Oh, no. Come on. Please tell me I got in. You just barely made it. You just barely qualified for the competition. Yes, this is awesome. I, I promise I'll do better. Wow, I'm really surprised that you thought that was awesome. I mean, you barely made it. Yeah, but I made it, and that's the thing. I'll do so much better. You'll see. That was the absolute most pathetic display of athleticism I've ever seen. I don't really care what you have to say, Thad. Well, you can't stop me from saying it. You're an absolute waste of space. I'm not threatened by you, man. I lost a thousand pounds for this. I'm gonna win. There's no way on earth you're gonna beat me in this competition. I qualified in first place. Yeah, but I got one thing that you don't. Oh yeah, and what's that, a cheeseburger? No, I have a strong mind and a good heart. And that's all I need to get through this. Yeah, we'll see about that. Gordon, where's Gordon? Dad, you can't just barge into Ian's house like that. Whoa, look at you. You look different, huh? Yeah, Dad, I lost a bunch of weight. Yeah, yeah, good for you. Whatever. What are you doing here? Yeah, you know, I just thought maybe I'd come by and see if you wanted to come back home. No, I don't want to come back home. Why would I want to do that? I don't know, maybe because I'm your dad and you want to hang out with me? No, Dad, I got to stay here and train. I got the Iron Blocks competition coming up. I need to focus. Still going for this stupid thing, huh? You should be home with your family, watching TV and hanging out. You know what, Dad? I'm tired of you giving me the worst advice in in the world. I'm giving you the best advice in the world, all right? I know you're gonna fail, and I don't want to see you do it again. You might be one of the most toxic people I've ever met in my entire life. How dare you say that to me? Listen to yourself. You haven't said one positive thing to me ever my whole life. Yeah, so what? No one ever says anything positive to me. That's because your attitude is awful, Dad. Don't you see that? Hey, don't you raise your voice with me. No, I'm not scared of you. I'm not gonna let you come in here and bully me around just because you don't like yourself. What, do you think you're better than me now? Certainly happier than than you. You're getting all these stupid ideas from your friends thinking that you're the greatest thing on earth. Well, let me tell you something. You're always gonna be a fat, 
stupid loser. I literally don't care about your opinion at all, but you should, I'm your dad. Well, I don't listen to people with bad attitudes. Now get out of my house. Yeah, fine, I'm leaving anyway. I'm tired of you. Oh man, I'm feeling good after that workout. Dude, I just have to say, I am so proud of you. You absolutely killed it today. Thanks, man. And I'm not letting anyone get in my way. I'm so happy with the changes that I made in my life. Dude, just hearing you say that, like, pumps me up. Yeah, me too. We're definitely gonna win this thing. We've got a big day of training tomorrow, and then it's the competition. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll be at the pool at 4 a.m. Ha, perfect. I'll see you there, man. Putting all your faith in a fat idiot like that is stupid. Dude, just shut up and leave him alone. Gordon knows what hard work and determination is, and he's gonna win that competition. Luckily, I don't need any of that. I was born the best. Dude, you're pathetic. Would a pathetic person do this? Ow! Man, I've been waiting here for like two hours and Ian didn't show up? Yeah, your friend doesn't care about you anymore. What are you talking about? You don't know anything. I was at the gym last night and I heard your friend talking about you. He thinks you're a pathetic waste of time. No, he doesn't. He wouldn't say something like that. I heard him say it myself. He said you had no chance in the competition. And then he laughed. Well, if you don't want to believe me, that's fine. It's your choice to put your faith in someone that doesn't support you. Yeah, well, I put my faith in myself first, okay? And I support myself and that's the only thing that matters. Why don't you get that? You're not going to get under my skin. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I'll see you at the competition. <laughs> oh, my phone. Hello? Oh, Ian. What? You're in the hospital? I'll be right there. I can't believe it. I can't believe he would do this. Dude, you've got to calm down. You're going crazy. I don't care, man. I, I can't let him do this to you. Come on, man. you got to stay grounded. You've got to do the right thing. There's only one way I can get back at him, and I have to win this competition. And you got to leave soon, dude. It's about to start. Hey, good luck. Winners don't need luck. All right, all right, everyone shut up. We're starting in three, two, one. Ooh, here we go. All right, come on. You can get through this. Look, the whale can actually run. <laughs> you're not gonna beat me. Shut up, you're not gonna get in my head. <sighs> Time for the swim. Oh, my leg, my leg. I think you got a cramp. This is my chance. Oh my gosh, I did it. I did it. Oh my God. We got the winner! His name is Gordon! Wow, I really did it! 